Look what's living inside your television. Yes, that is the tagline to the video dead. Now, this is an incredibly rare movie to come across. Uh, I actually had to resort to getting a bootleg of this movie. Um, but it's a good bootleg. It's... I got it off the website, Genivision. Uh, and I believe this is a bootleg of a resurrect resurrected release. It says up in the corner there, but it'll probably be backwards when I show it to you. Um, yeah, it has a very interesting cover, which is something I haven't seen before in a bootleg. This was specifically done for its bootleg release. Um, so yeah, it's just a DVD-R, but uh, if you want to see this movie on, uh, on any other format than a VHS, this is pretty much your only option. Um, it cost me about $14, but Jenny Vision ships for free and uh, has all tax included. So um, this is the only real way you're going to get this on DVD. So if you want to see this, get this until the um, official release comes out. I guess there's been some issues with the copyright, or who owns the copyright of this movie. And that's why it hasn't had an official release yet, which is sort of disappointing, because I'd rather get something with more special features on it. This one doesn't even have a DVD menu, it just loops. It's like a just direct VHS transfer. Um, the quality isn't that great, because, you know, it's VHS. Uh, probably an old VHS tape. It looks... it's better quality. It's sort of like a high-quality YouTube video. But you don't really notice it. Um, okay, I guess I'll start talking about the plot. I'll just read it off the back, because, um, again, it's been a while since I've uh, watched the movie, and maybe watch it. reading this will trigger some thought, like uh, things I remember about the movie, that I can tell you so that you can uh, decide whether or not you want to go get this movie. Okay, here it goes. Uh, an unlabeled crate from an unknown source is delivered to a house in the woods. The homeowner unwisely accepts the delivery, only to discover it contains a TV set that starts spewing giggling zombies all over the place. And by giggling, I mean, whenever they kill someone, they start to laugh. Yeah. When a new family moves into the now-abandoned house, the son discovers the haunted television is soon told discovers on television, and is soon told that he needs to go to do the send he needs to uh, send the zombies back where they belong. Um, I believe that happens when he was getting stoned on pot, too, but whatever. <laughs> that in itself was pretty funny. Starring Michael St. Michaels, Thad Deus, Golaz, Douglas Bell, Al Millen, Millian, Roxana, Augustin, Lori, Michael, Rigett, George Kerman, Rocky Duval, Sam David, McClelland, Jennifer Miro, Victoria Bastel, Libby Rustler, Garrett Dressler, and a partridge in a pear tree, Melissa Martin, and Cliff Watts. I don't know who any of those people are. Um, so yeah, the film itself is interesting. Uh, it's rather different. It's almost as if Okay, whoever did The Grudge or The Ring, if they teamed up with Todd Sheets and got Tom Savini to do the makeup, that's pretty much what you would have. Um, it's interesting. It's definitely, like, an interesting twist uh, on the regular sort of horror and zombie and living inside your TV monster genre. Um, there were some parts that I found strange, like how a... Spoiler. Turn it off if you don't want the end to be spoiled. Okay, that should be enough time for all of you. Uh, what happens in the end is they end up taking the zombies, or killing the zombies, by locking them in a basement, promising them that they could have a chance to try um, out dancing. My cat's meowing. Uh, yeah, that's really how it ends, and then they get, after a long time of being locked in the basement, they just eat each other was going so well up until then. Anyhow, it's an interesting movie. I love the soundtrack. It's the best soundtrack ever. And I forgot to mention on Nightmare City from yesterday, I'm so sorry, um, that it has the most kick-ass soundtrack. Uh, if you just want to, like, put that... If you could get that thing on your iPod, you would... I, I can guarantee you a lot of you would listen to it. It's like an upbeat version of the Zombie 2 theme. Um... Yeah, it's interesting. But the soundtrack for this is really great, too. It's got a great 80s sound to it. 
Are you done? I think he's done. He won't stop me out if he wants something. I'll let him out right after this. Shut up! Don't you talk back to me. Oh, is that so? Oh. Okay. I'll just wrap up. He wants out. Um, so... So anyhow, the film itself is very interesting. Um, the only way I know of you to get it is from Jenny Vision for $14, but it is well worth it, considering a VHS copy uh, costs quite a bit, uh, maybe $30. So, um... So anyhow, it's got one of the best... I'm just gonna end this review by uh, quoting quoting one of the uh, very humorous lines from this film uh, oh no your dogs run off into the woods no he goes into the woods to mate with skunks only the skunks don't want to mate with him so then they spray him and then he really gets turned on <laughs>